You want to live for God now. But you have friends that are still in sin. They are still breaking the rules and regulations of the Bible. Now, when you are away from your friends, you tend to do better. But when you are around your friends, you go right back into sin. What should you do? You already know the answer to it. So you may say to me, Kevin, I have been friends with this person or these people for many years. Okay, think about this. If you go to heaven when you die, <clears throat> and your friend or friends go to hell when they die, where is the friendship now? <laughs> the friendship is over, right? So why potentially be sent to hell because of the influence of your sinful friends? Tell me, please tell me. Who cares how long you have been friends when the issue is the destination of your eternal soul? Think about that. Your soul is at risk, but you are telling me about a superficial friendship, <laughs> which is not going to matter if you go to heaven and they go to hell, or you go to hell and they go to hell. Even if you all go to hell together, the friendship is over because you all are not going to be talking and playing cars and having fun. No, friendship is over. So why not break off that friendship now? If someone told me, Kevin, break off that friendship or be thrown into hell and, and be tormented forever, hmm, seems like a very easy choice to me. <laughs> that is just me. I don't know. So break up the friendship now. Or try to persuade them to serve God. If they don't, you have to do whatever you have to do. I really hope that makes sense. God bless.